Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy Wright and I'm your life coach. I'm the author of Your Soul Story, How to Create the Life You've Always Wanted, and also the author of the new book that's out that I'm excited, The Quest Method, Your Intuitive Destiny Guide. But more importantly, everything I put out into the universe is to help you heal deeply so you can live fully. So let's get to that. The purpose and the pain of being the black sheep of the family. The purpose and the pain of being the black sheep. There is a purpose in being that child, that relative, that individual that just doesn't seem to fit in. Was I, was I born in the wrong family? Is there something wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with them? You know, from an evolutionary standpoint in astrology, someone that's got a chart that shows there's um, difficulties in the upbringing, difficulties in relating with that close um, roots of where you came from, is really a chance for your soul to grow. It's really a chance for your soul to uh, be, go to the next level of awareness, consciousness, greater change in your emotions, greater change in your independence, greater change in your direction of your life purpose. So, you know, why would some a soul choose to be the black sheep? Well, the, a soul would choose in this incarnation, in this lifetime when it came in, because remember the Bible says, before you were even in your mother's womb, I knew you. So your soul is eternal. It has been known from the beginning of time. And it's constantly growing. That's the purpose of this, this whole journey is to constantly expand, express, and embrace life. But why would someone embrace the role of the black sheep? Well, number one, the purpose part of it. The purpose part of it is, is that it's creating an independence in you. It's creating um, an individuality, an individual identity. It's creating more of a stronger determination to stand on your own two feet, uh, to think for yourself, to speak for yourself. You'll see a lot of um, Uranus in someone's chart, the planet of sudden changes, the planet of, um, you know, the rebel, the black sheep of the family. Is it that is that bad person? Is he really bad or is he just different? So often we want to label people bad because they're different. Or even in our experience, ask yourself, when something's unusual or different in your life, isn't your first reaction sometimes, oh man, I wish this didn't happen. Why? Because it's not the status quo. It's, it's change, and change is scary. Different can be scary. So, you know, why would I have scary situations? To push your soul further along and grow. To push your personality further along and grow. To make you more individualized to what you're here to do. So many people, you know, they fall into the path of, I did what my parents wanted me to do. Um, I've lived what my parents wanted me to live. I chose the profession, you know, I ran the family business when I really wanted to be an artist or a writer, or I married, a lot of people, believe it or not, even this day and age, I married this fella because he's the one my parents liked and it made good sense. And so this lifetime, if you're the black sheep, there's none of this falling on other people to make your decision. There's none of this getting comfortable with what's already uh, been set out for you if you didn't decide it, if you didn't embrace it, if it isn't in your soul. There's no being happy just getting along if it goes against what you feel in your heart. Not going to happen. Some people, they can keep quiet forever and just go along with whatever's being told. Don't cause any waves. Not the black sheep, my friend. You cannot be a black sheep and, and, um, and, and be able to be happy just going along. You're here to stand out. You're here to speak out. You're here to live life on your terms. So that's the purpose of it. But what's the pain? Because there's a lot of pain in being different. There's a lot of pain in not feeling like you belong. And um, what's really hard is when we think of the black sheep of the family, a lot of times we're thinking, oh, that person that, that's in... Uh, you know, they drank or they're an alcoholic or they're addictive or, or, or they lied and stole. We think of black as evil, you know, that, that, um, you know, that connotation of the dark night of the soul. But here's the situation. I know a lot of black sheep of the family. They're the black sheep because they're more advanced. Their soul has evolved more. They're really more loving, kind, and open-minded. What is this? The soul or the person that leaves the faith of their family to embrace all religions, to embrace God in every form. Uh-oh, wait a minute. You're not Jewish? Well, you're not. That's not kosher. You're, everyone in our family is Jewish. 
you know, and then you're, you know, you're letting the Gentiles destroy you. Or you can take that same thing in, in, in any religion of when everyone else in the family holds to that religion. Even if you're an atheist and everyone else's religion, there's that whole sense of something is wrong. What, what, why did you give the faith up? We got to pray you through. When really your soul is evolving, your soul, your open mindedness, your, your um, learning and growing, you're less judgmental. You're less vindictive. You're less hateful. And so, you know, here's another way that happens is, is what happens is that now you are being punished, not because you're different from mistakes you're making. You're being punished for the growth you're making. And that is a huge pain in being the black sheep when you are growing in your in your spiritual consciousness when you're growing as a human being when you know the bible says woe unto them that call evil good and good evil how hard is it and mixed messages do you get when your soul wants to love people wants to love uh, god in a greater way but people are saying you're a heretic you're not right you're something's wrong with you it really can cause a lot of pain i mean it, there's pain in just being born period on this planet we all feel different we all do no matter if we're very popular there's that sense that we're different that's because we're all individuals but it's even more so hurtful when someone in the family a school system a church system looks and says there's not only are you different but there's something wrong with your difference not only did you do something wrong you're wrong and anytime that we feel that we're wrong for just who we are you know, the, the GBLT community, you're wrong, as if God made them wrong, or as if there's nothing they can do to change. And so, you know, you know, besides the, the person that leaves their faith, let's look at the person, you know, that dates outside of their race. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you're the first person to date a black person in this family, or an Asian person, or a same-sex gender person, you know, you're the black sheep of the family. What's wrong with you? And... We can pick this this feeling up. Even though they don't come out and say it, you can sense the tension. Everything is vibration. So even if you know people didn't say harsh things to you, you can feel sometimes the um, uncomfortableness, the uneasiness of you living life on your terms. If you're going to live life on your terms, it's going to be uneasy at times. It's going to be uncomfortable at times. But the purpose of it is for you to grow spiritually, emotionally, mentally, to be stronger, and to be more happy. Because happiness is living your life path, living your dreams, living your feelings, and not allowing anyone to put their baggage on you. So the purpose and the pain, the pain comes from feeling ostracized, feeling rejected, feeling, um, you know, something wrong with you. The purpose in all that is for you really to discover who you are, who you, what you think, what you feel. And there's nothing more beautiful than your soul, the way it was created, and the variety that God has put on this planet. So instead of saying, why am I so different, say, I am what I am. And what I am is advanced, is growing, is open-minded, is loving and caring, and is different.